Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Selfie Canon CP1500 printer. Here it goes right here. Show you how to download the app and how to connect it wirelessly to your phone. And also show you the correct printer and paper that you can buy as a refill. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by unboxing the Canon, the Canon selfie. This is the CP1500. And I got it in white, they have it in black, and I believe they have it in light pink. Um, and the correct ink and photo paper is the Selfie Compact Photo Printer. Now it says CP910 and CP820, but it's actually good for the 1500 as well, just in case you're wondering, because I did have a hard time figuring it out. And you can see in here, it shows you the two ink cartridges, that's what they look like. And then it has 100 sheets of printer paper. It also does come with already one inside, but I wanted to get one just uh, to be on the safe side. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. And it comes with the tray that the paper goes on. Uh, you have to open it here. So this is a tray where we're gonna put the photo paper. Okay. This is the ink for the printer. Never seen one like this before, but from what I've seen online, this one prints one color at a time and it just layers the colors, so it looks like this. You have the little guide here. It only comes with a few sheets of Canon photo paper, not a lot. Let's see how many it comes with. I'm gonna open it up. Come on, come on. All right, and it says Canon on the back. This one is done. Okay, so it only comes with five glossy pieces of paper and the top, the bottom, the top and bottom are perforated so you would actually snap those off. All right. This is, I guess, a limited warranty for USA and Canada only. And we have all the little plugs and USB connectors. And last, but definitely not least, the actual printer, which is really cute and small. So small that you can even, I've seen it stored in a lunch bag and it's nicely packaged. It has all the bubble wrap. Okay. I love the white, it's so cute. You can see it's really small can hold it in one hand. It has like the little beveled detailing and the buttons there, menu and so on. That's what it looks like. This is where the ink goes in. It's really small so you can store it pretty much anywhere. That's the USB. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this a little closer. Okay, so here it goes. Looks like this. I'm gonna peel this thing off here. All right, now obviously I have to charge it. So I'm gonna charge it first. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to download the app to your phone. Okay, so for what it looks like, where you would plug it in is on the back here, right here where it says DCM. This part here, uh, that's the battery and just where the air is being vented. On this side, you can connect it to your phone or your laptop, right here. On this side is, um, I believe this is where the paper tray goes. And you can also insert a storage to print photos directly from your memory card. 
and then the ink cassette goes there. So I'm going to go ahead and charge it through this end right here. So it comes with this piece. And then it comes with this part, which you have to attach into here, just like you would a laptop. Okay, so it's turning on. Um, okay. So don't be nervous if it appears that it doesn't turn on right away. I had to hold down the on button for a few seconds. Now we're gonna select the language. So English. We recommend using the dedicated selfie photo layout app when printing from a selfie story. Um, yes, let's put okay. Okay, install the app, visit the site on your smartphone and install selfie layout. Okay, so I'm gonna get my husband's phone since I'm recording with mine. And I'm gonna scan this and download the app to it. I'm taking my husband's phone and I'm gonna scan the that app and it's going to bring me up right to press accept um and let's get it on download from the app store and it also has all the layouts so it looks like this all right i'm going to install the app so i got my husband to scan his face so now we're gonna open the app open so if you like to say notifications nah we don't need notifications agree okay create and up layouts and shuffle layouts using photos and web services all right let's start select the printer you want to use so obviously I have the selfie 1500 here Connect and register the printer using the QR code. Use a printer or to display the screen shown above. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna scan it again. So I have this here and then it's asking me to scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan that. So if he wants to join the network, join, connecting to printer. Selfie would like to find and connect to devices in your local network. We're going to allow the printer has been registered. Okay, perfect. I don't want to do that right now. Okay, so right here we're going to have select and print. You could do layout and you could do a bookmark. Um, before I do this, I'm going to actually put the film in the printer. So this is what I had to scan in order for it to connect to the printer. So I'm gonna press okay. Okay, okay. And as you can see, it's notifying me no paper ink, check the paper ink, and I'm gonna put that in right now. All right, so the ink cartridge goes at the side right here. see I see it goes this way okay it has an arrow it shows you that it goes in that way so you're just gonna slide it in until it snaps close it and then the screen has changed so you can see it select and print this is a 69 news WFMZ TV storm center lightning warning Yes, today is a really rainy day, so I figured it's a perfect day to do this little tutorial. It's raining outside. Okay, now this thing, 
So it has to be opened up like this. The paper, I'm gonna put face up on here. And where does this go now? So it looks like it goes like that. I'm gonna open it right here. All right, let's see. Let's try it. I'm gonna go back to my camera. I mean my my phone. All right. We're gonna select something to print. Hopefully, I put it into uh, allow access to all photos. Okay. And I have regular postcard size, so I'm gonna select postcard, and I have glossy. Optimize image, I'll leave it on. Okay. From the smartphone. Uh, recent, and I want to choose a photo now. And I selected a picture of Foxy with her little thing on. Okay, to smooth scale to rotate photo. Okay. So this is what I selected, Foxy in her little thingy. So let's see. wonder if I can move it over. A border so you can do borderless so it would look like that and you could add a border to it I'm gonna close this uh, background you can fill the background obviously I don't want to do that I just want to print the picture date let's see where the date oh that's cute we can select where the date goes um, I also don't want the date on this picture What's an overcoat? Oh, okay. So there's some effects here that you can do. Hearts. Um, so if I wanted to do some effects, you can do it like that. Flowers. We're just going to do it plain, just for the sake of printing. Uh, you could put a stamp on it. You could put text and do other types of things. Right now I'm just going to print so that you can see the quality of it. Hopefully I put the paper in correctly. Join. I don't know if I put the paper in properly. Let's see. I don't think I put the paper in right. Oh, I did. Okay. So there we go. It's printing. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna hold this in my hand so I can show you guys. So you see it's printing in colored layers. Apparently that's what makes it really good. So now I did the yellow. Okay. And the magenta. Foxy looks so adorable with her little sweater on. Look at her. She's so cute. Okay. Wow, look at that. Wow. Such a great quality. Okay, I'm going to put the camera back so I can show you guys. All right, so this is a quality. I'm going to actually grab it from here. So look at that quality of... The picture it's really great so much better than going to cbs look at that so i want to put it side by side so you can see there we go that looks really good it's a nice size too you can also do different sizes but i really like the way it came out it's great quality and then of course i want to take off the top and the bottom periphery there we go and bend this part this is so much better than submitting orders in CVS and having to drive to go get them so now and of course this is the largest you can print that's the only thing if you want anything larger than this then of course you can go send it to get printed but this is a really nice size and you can see how crisp and clean it came out I'm gonna see if I can do like some fun layouts here okay so we have that one done let's try to do some more layouts okay so I'm gonna go home. All right, 
So over here we have in the app, it's the end up layout, arrange your favorite photos in the same size. Okay, let's see. That's for a single photo. This is for a bookmark. Create bookmarks. Oh, with your favorite shuffle layout, shuffle your photos and create a random layout. I think that one's kind of cute actually. You could do an ID photo and you could do labels or mini labels. For this one, you'd have to have the paper. I don't have the label paper, but I'm interested in shuffling a random layout. Okay, so let's do eight photos. We're gonna do postcard, glossy, and smartphone, recent. Actually, let's just go to, yeah, let's go to recent. And I'm just gonna select a few first. So I selected eight photos and it's randomly just arranging them in its own order. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead, press print. Join, connecting to printer, and here we go. It's working. There we go, it's printing. Okay, there we go. I want you to see how it does this. It does it so cool. It does one color at a time. First it does the yellow color, then I think next is like magenta or red. Yeah, magenta's next. Then it does an overlay of magenta. And then, I, and then it just does the cyan or cayenne, blue. Amazing. Look at that. And voila, we have a little cute um, type of collage one here. I have the small one at the side. It arranged them randomly. Of course, you can select your order that you want them in, but that's a really great quality. Beautiful, I love okay, it. So now I selected the bookmark layout. I only selected one picture, but as you can see, you can you can add up to four photos of the bookmark layout. It's kind of cutting off my husband's head. So you just tap on the photo. Oh, actually you do rotate and crop. So I wanna press rotate and crop and you just move it so it fits. There we go. I like that. Fill. All right, I'm gonna move it up. Press OK. All right, and then I'm just gonna select photos for each one. Okay, so you can only select one photo at a time. It doesn't allow me to select all four at once. So I'm just gonna adjust each one. Okay. And I wanna continue on until I have um, a full row. So I selected the first bookmark, but I want to change the order of the pictures. I want to make it um, every other. So this one, then that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the photo. Um, let me see, change. No, let's do cancel. Wondering if I can just move it around. Actually, I want to add a little text here. Let's see. Let's just write my love. And looks like, oh, okay. Let's do like cursive. And I'm actually going to put this at the bottom of the bookmark. Okay. All right, let's do the next side. And the only thing is I want to just be able to switch them around, but I can't. So it looks like I'm going to have to completely delete one and then add it again. So I'm going to delete this one. Yes. And let's see. Delete that one. And I'm just going to add that one. There. Add the photo. If it's too small, you just have to tap on the photo and click on 
crop rotate. No, not that one, buddy. So click tap on it, crop rotate, and then you just zoom in and I'm gonna fill the white square with how close I want it to be. All right, that's cute. Let's do that. And I'll just have to select the middle. So adjust the photo. So let's say I want to adjust this one. I select it, adjustments, and you can play with the brightness, the contrast, and the saturation. I'm gonna add a little bit of saturation there just because the other ones are so the coloring is so great on the rest and I want to make a different one here. So on the other side, I did pictures of my husband and his mother. I wanted to see if I can do it black and white, but unfortunately when I click on it and I try to adjust, I only get these three options. And when I try to remove all the saturation, it's still not fully black and white. It has a slight bit of color to it. So I'm just going to reset it and leave it the way it is. Um, you can also do some stamps. So we have like hearts here, little things that see the hearts. And I'm gonna drag, make it small, drag this down to here. Put the little hearts there. Bring to front, send to back. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Let's see. QR code filter. Oh, maybe the filter will let me do it. Oh, here we go. So let's see. Oh, but it turns all of them black and white. You know what? That's fine. I'll do them all in black and white then. Um, so yes, you have to go to the filter section and you actually can do them in black and white, but it's, I wanted to do one half black and white, the other in color. So just so you know, you can only do the full thing at once. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in black and white. What I want to do is I want to change the word my love into, I'm going to see if I can change the color so that it stands out. And oh, there we go. Let's do it in red. No. Okay. So now the word my love is in red and I have hearts on that one. And I'm going to now add the text. I'm gonna put the word mama. Let's see, okay, there we go. I'm gonna choose the, the way, I, and it doesn't have a lot of selections. It has one, two, three, four. Let's do mama in like this print thing. Okay, that's cute, I like that. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead now and print this, close. And let's go ahead and print. Join, connecting to printer. I'm gonna move this out the way. Here we go. Turn on this light so we can see a little better. It takes a little up, it takes a minute for it to connect. You can see it's sending images. All images have been sent. Press OK, and here we go. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, leave space behind the printer because it goes back and forth in and out. So you wanna leave some space for that. See, it goes back and in and out. So don't put the printer flush against the wall when you're printing. It's supposed to print black and white, so let's see. Oh, look at that. And of course, what I would do is because these are glossy, they're not, I don't have matte paper, which you can get matte paper. And these are supposed to be bookmarks. What I'm going to do is, come on, buddy, get out of there. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I can easily just laminate these. Look how nice they came out. Let me cut them first. So here we go. I have two bookmarks. Um, in black and white, you can add text and stickers to it. You can select the color of it. I really like the way these came out, actually. Very nice. Let's go ahead. I already read this book, but I'm just going to put it in. It's a 
little thin, so you definitely want to laminate it, but you can just put it in and put a little part sticking out just like that. And there you go. Or what you can do is you can have it stick out from the bottom, like just the words like this and do it that way. Totally up to you, but they're really cute for bookmarks. See, they came out really nice. Um, and again, you can also do stickers, but I didn't, I didn't find the sticker paper. You can also do that as well. I absolutely love it. You guys, me. nobody's texting you. <laughs> all right so i have my photos now i'm going to all you have to do for this little tray where you have your photos and you can keep the photos in there because they're protected just carefully pull it right pull it right out gently just like that this is the side where it says open that goes into there and it doesn't even fully go all the way in my paper is in there, so I'm going to snap it shut. Now my paper is stored in here, my photo paper. Take this, close it, and I'm going to hold it down to turn it off. There we go. It's so small that you can store this anywhere. If you're having problems connecting to the Wi-Fi, you can always just connect um, you can connect it directly in here, connect your phone directly to it, um, or you can insert the memory chip, which is where? It's right here. You can also insert the memory chip right there. Look at that. These beautiful photos. From home, done in a few minutes. Really great. I love the quality, and it's great because we're going to be doing our office, so I'm going to be printing some pictures and hanging them up. And then for the refill, um, and I'm going to display this. I like it displayed. Some people have a case for it. They buy little like lunch bag cases. I kind of like it displayed the way it is. So I'm going to leave it on display in the shelf. Um, I bought this as the refill for it. Um, I'm just show you what comes inside of it. So it's more than enough. Um, I don't know how long the ink lasts, but you can see it comes with one, two, three, five packets of glossy postcard photo print paper. And that's a total of 108 sheets, which of course we're not gonna use all that. And then it comes with two ink cartridges. I'm curious to know how long the ink cartridges will last. These are them right here. So let's see if it tells you how long they'll last. Now you can use the um, the guide. It kind of tells you step by step what to do. But as you saw, I didn't have to use this. It was pretty self-explanatory. And the screen on the printer actually guides you and tells you what to do. Let's tell you the memory cards that are supported. They're right here. And it doesn't tell me how long the ink will last on one of these, but I guess I'll just have to see. I'm going to go ahead and hang these behind me, but that's all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, stay safe, stay blessed, and until next time.